All right, guys, today we're going to talk about a system that thinks it's a god. All right, let's get right into it. What's up, Skywatchers? What is up indeed? Monday, November 3rd, 2025. Hundreds of thousands of trees across Washington state are dying, and most people are still asking why. The truth isn't hidden, it's just ignored. You can see this in the skies, the rivers, the very air around us. Glyphosate, the same chemical sprayed across millions of acres in North America, doesn't stay where it's released. It rides the wind and it drifts through the atmosphere and it comes back down in the rain. When humanity decided it could redesign nature with chemicals and frequencies, the entire ecosystem became collateral damage. Canada has been using glyphosate for at least five decades. Forestry programs in New Brunswick and British Columbia began aerial spraying in the 1970s and expanded through the 1980s. Agricultural use started around 1974, the year glyphosate first hit the market. Fifty years later, the chemical has become part of the hydrological cycle itself, traveling through the clouds and flowing through the veins of the planet. The U.S. Geological Survey found glyphosate in 66 out of 70 U.S. streams and rivers tested nationwide. The highest concentrations appear across the agricultural Midwest, but detection has been confirmed in nearly every region, including urban waterways. It's not confined to farmlands. It's everywhere. The forests aren't just pretty scenery. They're the living lungs of the biosphere. When the trees die, rainfall patterns shift. When the soil is poisoned, pollinators vanish. When the insects disappear, food chains collapse. It's all connected, the oceans, the air, the animals, and us. When one link dies, the entire web weakens. Those who control these programs claim it's about sustainability and innovation, but history shows otherwise. Agenda 21 wasn't designed to protect nature, it was designed to centralize it. By limiting access to land, water, and energy, every living system becomes a managed system. Agenda 2030 is the next phase, the installation of digital and electromagnetic infrastructure to monitor and modify the biosphere in real time. This is the not-so-great Great Reset, a technocratic reconstruction of life itself. And this isn't new. Geoengineering has been underway for more than a century. We've never truly seen natural weather, from atomic to nuclear testing, to hurricane modification projects, to the injection of sulfur dioxide into the stratosphere. The atmosphere has become systematically altered since the early 1900s. Every explosion, every launch, every experiment changed the electric and chemical balance on the planet itself. Take sulfur dioxide, for instance. It was promoted as a cooling agent for a psychological operation called climate change, but it comes with a hidden cost. It destroys ozone, and as the ozone thins, ultraviolet radiation increases, quietly cooking the ecosystem from above. And this is why you feel increased heat intensity on your skin, forest decline, coral bleaching, insect disappearance, and rising skin cancers all trace back to the same global interference. Add to that the modern cocktail of aluminum, barium, strontium used in reflective aerosol programs designed to scatter sunlight, shift temperature gradients, and manipulate atmospheric charge, and you begin to see the pattern. Every intervention creates the illusion of control while deepening dependence on more intervention. It's not weather control anymore, it's planetary management. The Earth is being run like a circuit board. Aerosols form the conductive medium, electromagnetic systems provide the current, chemical agents drive feedback, human populations supply the data. 
We are living inside an engineered environment, from the soil beneath us to the stratosphere above. So when someone says it's just weather, remember, no one alive today has ever truly seen natural weather. The atmosphere has been rewritten by a century of experiments. The reality we think we know was manufactured long ago. Every pulse, every spray, every manipulation, chemical or electromagnetic is part of one continuous assault on the natural order. And the result is the same. Collapsing forests, poisoned waters, dying species, and the planet losing its balance. You can't rewrite the code of creation without corrupting the entire program. Nature isn't a machine, it's a living organism, and the more they try to control it, the faster it dies. Alright guys, I want to take a moment and thank the supporters of this channel. I Like Butter Popcorn, Tammy Dennis, and Reagan James Oxenham. Much love and many thanks. Okay Skywatchers, stay aware, be prepared, and until next time, keep looking up.